in the heliocentric model, they tell us that a lunar eclipse occurs when the sun, the earth and the moon are in alignment. They say that the shadow of the earth goes across the moon when it travels from penumbra to umbra then back to the penumbra on the other side. I reject this explanation because I don't believe in the heliocentric model. I don't believe the lunar eclipse is caused by the shadow of the earth. I know this diagram is not to scale, but it is very deceptive. They say the sun and the moon are the same size because the, the, the sun is 400 times further away from the moon. If that's the case, then in reality, the sun and the moon should be shown as the same size. When one hears the word eclipse, one automatically assumes that a shadow is going across a body. This is because we have been conditioned from a very young age. We've been indoctrinated at school to think that way. Alternate theories to the mainstream or to academia are accepted with ridicule and denial because initially our brain and our mind are so fragile that it is like a shock to the system. Our mind will naturally reject anything that is contrary because of our conditioning. So, what is my alternative theory of the lunar ecl eclipse? To help explain this, I will use a video from a YouTuber called Mike Flatbird, who has filmed the lunar eclipse recently. The link to his video is in the description. Notice how the dark shadow engulfs the moon. It's like a wildfire engulfing a cornfield. It's an internal process that is not a shadow. It looks as though the moon's energy is going out, fading. Also notice how the, the shadow doesn't fully extend beyond the moon, the, the light of the moon. It stops and you can see clearly a slither of the moon. And the moon turning red is akin to a, a light bulb. When you switch the light bulb, uh, switch the light off, it's like the, uh, the red remains of the metal filament. This is very much like the moon is replen replenishing itself or recharging itself.
the moon produces its own light. So this explanation makes perfect sense. The moonlight is not reflected sunlight. Notice how the moon gets very bright after the, uh, the coloration. It's as if it's being reborn. <laughs> 